guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a plain old dish towel and turn it into a beautiful tea towel scarf. So here it is. If you don't know what a tea towel scarf is, it's essentially a scarf. Um, you put it around your neck just like this and then you're gonna have your little tea towels just hanging down in front of you and then these will just be quick access for when you're cooking or you're baking you just want to wipe your hands off or if you want to dry your hands or you want to take something out of the oven or you just want to carry something hot um, so it's just always around you especially when you're in the thick of you know Christmas baking or cooking or just all the holiday things but these are gonna be a very awesome gift this holiday season especially if you're looking for a handmade item to give to maybe a teacher or you know a close friend or neighbor or something super easy very quick so I hope that you stick around um, check it out and if you do don't forget to subscribe and of course Hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted of new and future tutorials and let's just get straight into the tutorial okay so of course you're going to head over to the store and find some tea towels um, i got these over at costco these are the holiday themed ones and they come with two of the kitty ones they actually had a dog variation as well which are being sold right now these are on clearance right now they come with two blue ones and two green ones and so you can just decide what you want to do. Now, of course, you only need one towel for one of the scarves, but you could do something like take these two and then cut these in half and maybe use um, both of them for one towel so that you can have some visual interest. So this side would be different than this side. And you could do two of them just using the alternating um, tea towels. Today I'm going to be just using this regular blue one um, so I can use it all year round and I'm going to be using just some regular cotton fabric that I have and I thought that this would look really pretty together. Now this one is a directional fabric and because we're using a dire directional fabric this is going to be a little bit different but I'm going to show you how to do it this way just because the other way is of course um, that much easier. So a standard tea towel should measure around 43 inches by 71. Um, so these are the ones that you're going to find the most. So of course if you have a different size tea towel then you might have to make your fabric a little bit bigger or smaller depending on which one you choose. So I will provide the measurements for the regular size tea towel but um, I'll give you the instructions so that you can figure out how to make um, a tea towel just depending on whatever size tea towel that you have on hand. So the first thing we're going to do is take our towel and prepare it. So if there's any loops or tags on it, you can go ahead and just snip those off or stickers. And then you're going to fold your towel lengthways. Try to make it as even as possible. And we're just going to cut along this fold so that we can have two pieces. Then I'm going to get my iron and I'm going to press my towel. So from here we're going to start doing the pleating process. Now there's different ways of doing this. Um, I've seen some that people will take it and they will just gather it up and then they'll just have the whole towel hanging down from your fabric. But I'm going to do a nice even pleat and I think that's nicer because then when you go to fold it and put it away um, in your closet or something like that. It'll just have a neater presentation. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the center of your fabric. I'm just going to put a little snip there. And then we're going to fold in 
the fabric to that center point. And then we'll press. Then we will fold out the fabric and then press it again. And you don't have to necessarily do all the way down. And then we'll fold it all the way in to that center marking again. And then you should have a fairly even accordion fold. You can grab some clips and then we'll just clip the top so we're ready to go. So the next we're going to do is do the exact same thing to the second towel. So now we can figure out the sizing of our cotton fabric. So now we're going to take our ruler and measure the width of our folded tea towel. Now mine measures about four and a half inches. So we're going to take that measurement, we're going to multiply it by two, which is going to be nine inches, and then we're going to add one inch, which will equate for a half inch seam allowance. So 10 inches will be the width of our fabric. Now the length of your fabric really depends on what you prefer, but for standard we are going to use the width of a standard piece of cotton fabric, which is about 42 to 44 inches um, in width. So I have this fabric here and because it is directional, I can't cut the fabric from selvage to selvage because if so, then my scarf would look like this. And then all of my little balloons would be going sideways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut it lengthways. So I'm just gonna cut it 44 inches this way. So I have my cutting mat and I'm gonna use a rotary cutter and my ruler. And I already have my fabric kind of folded in half. Um, so I'm just going to open it up and to make it easier, I'm going to fold it in half again. So I do have one meter of this fabric already, so it's already cut to be about 44 inches in length. If you have a directional fabric like me, you are also going to need to add another quarter of an inch or half an inch just because we will be cutting this piece in half and then sewing it back together so that the right sides can come down both sides of the scarf. So you need to add in a little bit of a seam allowance just to be able to do that. So I'm going to add probably like a half an inch. So here's my fabric. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off the selvage first and the selvage is just usually um, this white part that has you know the uh, label and stuff attached to it and then you can go ahead and measure out your 10 inches and then we can cut right along that line and my 10 inch mark is this bold line right here try not to move your ruler there we go
Okay, so here is our long strip, and now I'm going to be cutting it in half at the fold. Trying to make it as even as possible. And just like how we did with the towel, just gonna cut just like that. So we have our two pieces of fabric and then we'll have our tea towel on this end and our other tea towel on this end. So we're going to have to take the tea towel and put it with the right sides together. And then we're going to sew this end. And then when you go to open it up, then you will see that the balloons are going in the opposite direction now, which is what we want. So the seam is going to fall behind the neck so you won't see that seam. Okay, so I'm going to give myself about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So now we're just going to give it a good press and we're going to press these seams open to make it as flat as possible. And this is how it's going to look. So now we're going to take our fabric and we are going to sort of hem the bottom. So we're going to fold up the fabric about a half an inch. I like to use my tailor clapper to give myself a nice, nice crease. So that is how it's going to look. And we're going to do that at both ends. This is going to be a really good gift idea around this holiday season. And if you are interested at all in the Bull Cozy, I'll leave that link in the description box or one of the cards. A bowl cozy and one of these would be an excellent gift around this holiday season. Okay, so then we're going to take our whole piece and we are going to fold it in onto itself. So the right sides together and we're just going to clip that edge. And we are going to sew all the way down this edge. And try to make sure that your seam here is lined up and that's how you know you will have your ends nicely lined up as well. And my iron is leaking right now so my fabric is all wet. I think I accidentally opened it. That's just press that water away a bit. I think I have tea towels lying around. Okay, so we're just gonna do um, that half inch seam allowance right down that long edge. I'm gonna back stitch all the way to the beginning just to make sure we lock in those stitches.
Okay, so from here we're just going to flip the whole piece right sides out. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a good press. And when we press, we're going to be pressing the seam right down the center. Now doing it this way is just going to ensure that you aren't going to see this seam at all because you know the theory is is that that'll be against your body as opposed to not against your body. I'm just going to give it a little test to make sure that we are pretty good. Our measurements were pretty good. So I'm just going to try to flatten that seam as best as I can. And then we will press it. Okay. So this is how it will look. And as you can see now, the little hot air balloons are going the correct direction. And then we can start to put our tea towels in. So you're going to want to make sure that when you put the tea towels in, that you're putting them in the correct direction. So if there's a right side of your tea towel, like for this one, there is the seam there. So this is the front, as opposed to the folded would be the back. So the back of this is where the seam is. So we are going to essentially slip this into that. So if you wanted to do a basting stitch across there, then that definitely would be uh, an amazing idea. Um, but if you don't already know me, then you know that that's something that I probably wouldn't do. <laughs> so I'm just slipping it in. I put it in about three quarters of an inch, um, just a good amount so I can make sure we're gonna do a seam right across here, and if you wanted to do a double seam just to be safe, um, you can do that as well. So that one has been inserted, and it looks like it fits very nicely. And then we will go ahead and put the other one in. And because we hemmed that fabric or that edge, then that's going to be a really clean and nice edge when we go to do our sewing across. And that's going to be really, really cute. I love the combination of these two colors. Even just as I look in the camera, it just, it looks so beautiful together. So I'm going to go over and we're going to do some sewing and finish these up. Like we're pretty much done. This is a really quick and easy project. Okay, so I'm just making sure that my towel is snugly inside before I begin sewing, but I gave myself a good amount of room, so I shouldn't have any problems there. This is a really fun time where if you wanted to explore any of your decorative stitches on your sewing machine, um, definitely be would be fun hopefully i don't have too much problems getting through the fabric just because it is a little thick but these towels are fairly light so hopefully um and you might also want to just make sure you have a really good sturdy needle um just so that you can get through all of those layers so it took a little bit to get through but once you actually get in um, it'll be easy to get going. This also could be a really good project to use your walking foot also. So just keep that in mind when you go to uh, do this part of the tutorial.
Now this is how the first seam will look. And I think I did a pretty good job. If you wanna do a second stitch, just for, you know, extra security, you can do that. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because I think it might look just a little nicer. So I'm gonna try to make sure that my presser foot is evenly against that seam so that I can, again, get a nice and even two rows of stitches. And I actually went ahead and increased my stitch length just to see um, what that would look like. Because I did a 2.5 stitch length on the bottom, um, there was a little bit of a hard time getting through it, so it actually made my stitches a little bit shorter because of that. Um, so doing the three stitch length, actually, actually now it appears to be a 2.5 stitch length. So I think I like that a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as that. And then I will just make sure that my other end of my little boa is even. There's been a few names for this, the tea towel boa or the, um, the towel scarf. So, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. And if you don't like snakes, then I wouldn't call it a boa though. <laughs> I don't really like snakes, so I don't really like the idea of that around my neck. But it's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna flip that over. And then. We will begin. And I'll bring it back and I'll do another row parallel to the first one. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so now we're done. So we can just clip off any of those little loose threads there. You could also do this part with a double needle. So if you want to install a double needle onto your regular sewing machine, then you can just do that all in one go also. So just keep that in mind. But I think this turned out really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like on. Okay, so we're done. What do you think? How cute is this? I'm absolutely obsessed with this hot air balloon print. I think this is gonna be so fun to have around the kitchen and I'm definitely going to be making a few more of these and giving them as gifts this holiday season. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and of course, any and more information will be over at the blog post. All those links are in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.